Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Well, it's Christmas time for you, but a time for paying bills with no money, a time for finding yourself a year older and not an hour richer. If I could work my will. Every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled with his own pudding and buried with a stake of holly through his heart. It is a challenge uh, to pull this role off, one that everybody knows and everyone thinks they know. And so to present something that might be a little fresh, you know, maybe an angle on it that maybe somebody hasn't seen before. That's what I'm hoping that, I, that I'm accomplishing here. There are some liberties taken with, uh, for example, the, the ghosts of Christmas are actually played other characters in the play who are uh, vendors and people who actually owe money to Scrooge. And, and it's uh, really kind of an interesting way that, they're, uh, that they appear later as the ghosts that bring him to his, uh, his revelation. I play Jacob Marley, his uh, dead partner who comes to tell him he's going to be visited by three spirits. He comes from the depth of Hades and, uh, uh, and he's sort of chained to hell. It's kind of scary in a good way, in a funny way, in a, you know, just a, it's, it's different, but I think it's a nice take just to see something, a different kind of Marley as opposed to just walking in and being scary and sitting down and talking and it's Dickens it it it's a family story but it is a ghost story but it's a light ghost story it's not meant to scare you it's meant to teach you a lesson and it, it stays close to how Dickens wrote it the you know the dialogue in it but uh, it is a ghost story, and that kind of makes it fun. I am the ghost of Christmas past. Long past? No, your past. She uh, starts out as a kind of a peasant doll vendor selling uh, antique dolls, and then she turns into the ghost of Christmas past. She turns into one of her dolls. These are the shadows of things that have been, that they are what they are. It's still the same story. Nobody's going to come in and see a story and go, oh, this is not at all what I expected. It's still, you know, the Charles Dickens story. This is a little darker. It has more ghosts in it with all the apparitions and everything. So it's a little, um, it's more eerie. Um, the lighting is a lot uh, darker and shafts of light. Um, so I think it might be a little scarier maybe, you know, in a darker sort of way. The cider vendor becomes the, the ghost of Christmas present, and I'm playing traditionally what is considered the, the Santa Claus role. Um, and uh, it's a little full of joy, but full of uh, uh, telling Scrooge about what, what's going on for in his life in the present. You sprinkle the old drink over these gentlemen and bring love into their hearts, and out of this paltry goose, I imagine you make a feast. <laughs> Would you do this for all dinners? To any kindly given, to a poor one most. Why to a poor one most? Because it needs it most. 
We always forget what Christmas is about. We always forget about the important things about our lives. Um, this is a reminder, even if it's just once a year, when you go, it's like going to church on Easter or something like that. You go in and you say, oh, oh, it's about the heart. It's about the spirit, you know? You know, the Ghost of Christmas Future, how they have me play him, I've never seen him anything like that before, but it's a lot of fun. It's very much like he's got cogs and everything inside of him that run him like a clock, and so he's very mechanical in how he moves, and the Ghost of Christmas Future is known as doing the pointing, and it's not the stereotypical just slow point, it's something very different, you know, like a mechanical clock man, which I guess he is. Why show me these things if I'd be on the whole hope? Hear me, good spirit. I will change my life. I will live in the past, the present, and the future. The spirit of all three will strive within me.